Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Learn Data Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on Strata Scratch regarding find how many times each artist appeared on the Spotify ranking list, both using Python as well as MySQL, and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy, and this question has been asked in Spotify interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, find out how many times each artist appeared on the Spotify ranking list, output the artist name along with the corresponding number of occurrences, order the records by number of occurrences in descending order. So basically we are given a data frame called Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking and the expected output is also a data frame with two different columns, the name of the artist and number of occurrences uh, the artist occurred on the list, right? Uh, and it should be ordered in descending order. Right, uh, let's preview this data frame. So if you look at this data frame, so you have information regarding the ID, position, track name, a lot of other stuff, date, region, etc. So to do this, what we need to do is, you know, we can group by the name of the artist and then from this column ID, we can count how many times they are appearing on this list, right? Because if you are appearing on the list, then you are going to have ID associated with you in this data frame, right? So we can group by the artist and then count the ID from this column, right? So what we can do is from this uh, data frame called Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking, we can group by, right? So then group by, right? Which column? The artist, right? And we want that as a column. So we need to write as index is equal to false and then from the column called id we need to count right so let me run this let's see what we are getting so if you see you have different artists and ID. so basically this is the count of how many times they appeared on the list so obviously we need to change this column name to n occurrences right so we can write dot rename right what do we want to rename columns and then we can provide the key value pairs. So the old name is ID and we want it to change to N occurrences, right? Okay, let me run this now. Okay, cool. We have that. Now we want to be this to be arranged in descending manner, right? So we can use dot sort values and by which column we buy N occurrences, right? So underscore occurrences. Okay. And in descending manner. So we need to write ascending is equal to false, right? Let me run this now. Okay. So now if you look at it, right? So uh, we have the output that is same as expected output, right? And uh, we don't need to limit it or anything. So yeah, I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and submit it to see if it passes all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. Now let's look at how the corresponding code looks like in MySQL. So if you look at this question, like the question is same, uh, the expected output is same as well. And if you look at the date table, right, it has also the same information. So what we need to do is from this table called Spotify Worldwide Daily Song Ranking, we need to group by, right? So we need to group by the artist column, right? And then what we need to do is we need to return the artist column and then also count the ID, right? And we need to alias this as, so if you look at expected output as an occurrences, right? So we need to write as an underscore occurrences and then we also need to order this, right? So order by n occurrences in descending manner. So I think this looks good. Let me go ahead and run this to see what happens. So uh, if you look at it, like our output is same as expected output. Let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases. So everything is green and this is how we do it. Again, very simple question. All we had to do was, you know, from this table, we had to group by the artist and then count the number of IDs because when you are appearing in the Spotify ranking list, then an ID is going to be associated with you. So you count that alias this as an occurrences and then you order by the number of experience occurrences in descending manner. So yeah, this is how we do it. Let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question. Let the solution be in the comment section below and until then I will see you guys in the next video.